Greetings all as I, Sam Farron, and welcome back to Let's Translate Trails of the World. Between this episode and the last, I beat that monkey. It was just one guy, and he was really easy. He couldn't really do that much damage as long as I had an order up, and my damage was pretty good too. It didn't take very long to beat him at all. But, uh, oh. Oh no. <laughs> they fell for it. Well, for a genius like me, predicting the route of a average person is nothing. <laughs> uh, but uh, Chief, uh, I'm nearly at my limit. I know we're wearing uh, heatproof suits, but still, we need to report to the guys up top. <laughs> I will quit your yapping, you good for nothings. <laughs> Just you wait. I'll outsmart them and take all the goodies for myself. Uh. You not gonna pick up? <laughs> oh, fine, I'll pick up. What the hell's going on there? I mean, that was obviously Rosemary. Or whatever her name is. Ooh, this place is br- Wow. I like this. Holy shit. I was just complaining about not enough new areas, but... Here we are. This is incredible. Yeah, to think that something like this, uh, like, went this long before being discovered. This is definitely from ancient Zemurian civilization. Probably from before. Uh, 1200 years ago when the Great Collapse happened. But uh, those little facilities seem to be something within the last 20 years. They're probably to do with the irrigation works that Professor Hamilton did here along with a few technicians. But who knows how it's connected to what this tower is running. Well, either way, I'm guessing that camouflage function was something that was uh, on this tower to begin with. Otherwise, there's no way that the townspeople wouldn't know about this place. Yeah, but I think they've strengthened that function for whatever reason, using that white replica that we saw in that image of the past. And not to mention the agaves, or the agaves. It seems we were right that they were growing in the same place as the irrigation works, but... What's that a uh, really tall one? It seems like a different plant. No, it's the same plant, but in full blossom. It depends on the species, but... Sometimes they grow that big. But only like around uh, once per half century there. Eh, interesting. The seeds from this guy flew really far, and that's what caused all the other ones to grow, huh? Plants really are mysterious. They're different to humans and animals. The laws of nature, or I suppose, a blessing from the goddess. And we're about to gain proof that someone is twisting those laws. Yeah. Judging from the way the cables are set up, it's probably on the top floor of these ruins. It's likely a control device from the ancient civilization, with some additions put onto it. Let's quickly search around and then head inside. My god, this place is beautiful there. So much green and uh, water. It really feels like a different world here. If we had time, I'd love to spend a little break here, but I suppose we don't have that time. Yeah, it's time to expose this folly, this trickery. Help. Ah, it's, uh, I got the mark of, well, it's, a uh, Vern. Uh, it's a Vern, like, 
bauble uh, thing. It's marked 18 or 1187. Nine. I swear I'm like dyslexic when it comes to numbers. Maybe not, I don't know. Ooh, it has an atmosphere. Ancient Zamorian ruins. I hear there stuff like this in uh, Labor too. The four towers, yeah. Although this is, seems a lot bigger and uh, like a different style of uh, architecture too. But yeah, it was a good idea not to bring Mariel here, it looks like. I haven't seen this type before. There don't seem to be marionette weapons or machinery or whatever that word is. I've forgotten. The thing that, like the robots that the society uses. They're probably automatic guardians that were used around 1200 or before 1200 years ago. It seems they're operating on mana. We'll have to deal with them too. Well, we don't have much time. Let's head to the top as quickly as we can. So I'll be counting on you guys. Yeah, of course. All right then, ancient treasure hunters, let's go. We have the approval of a Dominion so we can steal all the illegal artifacts we like. Ancient treasure hunters? Are any artifacts go straight to the church. You're not allowed to hold them for personal gain. <laughs> hmm, but if we mistook one for a, uh, like a sorcery device from the Middle Ages and sold it off. <laughs> hey, no means no. <laughs> right, uh... Let me just really quickly... Check the weapon situation. Yeah, I've already done all this. I even bought some new versions of these for my guys, too. I don't think there's anything else I really need to do here. At least not to prepare. Oh, well, I need to heal. That's one thing. Alright, what is going on here, then? This place is big. Oh my god! Broken wall! Ooh, that is worth it. I should probably start buying, like, investing in some of those, uh, like, actually buying augments rather than just increasing my slots. Ooh. Uh, wow, this is a wall painting from like over 1200 years ago. Seems to be this tour of oh, this uh, tower in the middle, but there's other marks too. From what I can tell, it seems to be representing the weather. Yeah, but why is there a picture like that here? Hmm, if I had to guess. Ow. Is this maybe what's controlling the weather? I mean, obviously, whoa. Yeah, this timing is weird. Like, obviously, they managed to turn it off in the uh, other place, but... Maybe it's uh, like the thing that's actually controlling the weather or the sandstorm is in this tower. God, the timing for that is weird. I was really hoping to stun him before he got that off. Well, fuck me. Oh, wait, this is good, though. Check this out. Heaven got one of these. Let's swim. Oh, there he is. Ooh, meteor! And I think it can instant death as well. That is just double hype. God, these enemies have so much health. I mean, not as much as the dinosaurs. The old two-headed dinosaurs outside, but... Wow, Kevin gets another zero last time. Oh, I didn't do as much to... Oh, it instant death him, though. Well, I, I was short on damage, but... Instant death. Yeah, hardly any enemies are immune to it. Only like mini bosses and bosses are actually immune to it, it seems. At least from what I've checked. I haven't checked it on every single enemy. 
But usually if I get a zero last turn, I just go for it anyway. I should buy uh, the, like, whatever it's called, the art plugin for that. And then just give it to anyone who can equip it. Just for the, like, in case they get a zero arts turn. Although Kevin also has naturally pretty high, like, magic, so that's partly why, I think. I'm so used to using high speed mode now. I mean, it is mad convenient. Hello. Why is this guy shooting up? What's your deal then, big boy? This thing could be a Pokemon if it really wanted to be. Die. Fuck you. Hell yeah. Oh, this guy wasn't even part of the fire. I was wondering where he went. I guess he just explodes. He doesn't have much range, though. Seems like kind of a pussy. Oh, never mind. Well, I, I tried to dodge into it there. Why is no one attacking except for me? Oh, I gotta do all the work around here. Also, I think it depends on the enemy, but some enemies take more, uh, or like you can extend their stun using quick arts as well. I think I managed to do that when I was like messing around, but like some enemy, because like most enemies do stun when you hit them with quick arts, but not all of them. So it probably depends on that. All right, well I fucked up and Swin died, but oh well. I don't know how he got so low on health. I need to, you know, this is a good time. I need to give someone the arts plugin for Tia. It's like stupid that I haven't done that yet. What the hell is all this? Actually, yeah, there's no real reason to have that. Uh, I, I bought Chrono Drive and Chrono Break as well. But honestly, Chrono Drive seems pretty friggin' useless in this game. Well, let me give that to Nadia as well. Oh, that's not it. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I need to be doing this. Let's give her... Or she doesn't need Veil because she's already got multi-target healing, but well, you can have that then. Rufus has Breath and Veil, and then you can have Veil as well. Because he's pretty fast, so it's good to have him with support abilities. Was there an active voice? No. Okay, I, I thought there was during that fight for some reason. Oh, I thought this was leading outside, but it's just a window. This area certainly is cool though. I like this. I like that it's nice and uh, big. It feels like a lot of the dungeons have been pretty claustrophobic. A lot of, like, uh, oh my god, it's the golden alpaca from Yik. It feels like there have been a lot of, uh, like, just four way dungeons in this game. Not very many uh, open ended ones, I guess. Well, th I'm not saying this is open-ended because it's clearly linear, but... I don't know. It's a different style and I appreciate that. we also got to smash this guy. Oh, I love Soul Eater. Rufus and Elaine are very similar in how they play. But Elaine seems naturally faster, because I haven't had to give her any extra or any different hollow cores. Although maybe that's just what hers is. Maybe hers is just naturally gives us some speed. Probably what it is. Actually, when I was checking, it seems pretty rare. Hollow cores that give you speed. Oh my god, okay, I tried to avoid that, like prepare for it, but yeah, that was just not happening. Well, there's no reason not to just do this. Then get a little heal on Rufy. Yeah, that attack is scary. Oh my god. Stupid robot is kicking my dumb 
my ass. That was a weird attack. They just... You know, just run away. Oh my god, he actually reached me. My days, this guy is scary. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that was a red attack, but the fucking camera moved, so I couldn't see. Fucking smart. Brutal. End him. Fuck me. That was really annoying. I mean, it was my own. F Wait, we leveled up, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, I could have been worse, I guess. I need to stop speeding up. I've just been using it so much when I've been playing, like, off screen and stuff. Like in the garden. It's so tempting. I need to show restraint. Oh, hello. Well, you know what? There's not really any reason to... Well, I guess it is nice to use the boost, actually, because you can just S-craft instantly. Is that hitting both? No. I'm just gonna S-Craft. Wait, why was I playing as Swin instead of Nadia? Oh, because... Right. Because of these guys, probably. Well, boom, look at that damage. 5,000 with a regular attack, casually. I mean, obviously we did have the boost from the chain gauge, but... Man, level 45! We are getting up there. それにしてもこの塔、やっぱり周辺の気象に干渉してる感じかな。まあ、起きてた現象やあの壁画からさするに、霊脈も含めて管理しとるんやろ。古代ゼムリア時代の超技術、まさにこの塔自体が。古代遺物みたいなものか。そして元々あったスナーラシの結界の機能に手を加えて、コントロールしていたわけだ。そんなことまでできるなんて、あの人本当にすごい人なんだね。But this tower, I guess it was controlling the weather around these parts, huh? Yeah, given what we've seen so far, and uh, what with that, like, uh, painting. It's probably uh, managing that along with the, the ley lines, uh, like a super technology from ancient Zamuria. This whole tower could be considered an artifact, and uh, so they uh, put like a or like they added their own uh, thing to the like thing that controls the sandstorm barrier and uh, controlling it. I think that she was able to do that. She really is incredible. <laughs> Oh yeah, I killed those enemies. Uh, is this where I came from? I think it is, yeah. Oh, there's some kind of, uh... Well, well, well. Oh, uh, I guess maybe that opens up... Hold on, let me, let me see what's back here. Before I go touching switches... I best just make sure I'm not missing anything. It might close off stuff. Alright, that guy's dead. I mean, I know I was praising this dungeon for being large and uh, open, but... I sure am using the speed up function to get through it a lot quicker. Honestly, I've been playing this game too much today, I think. I'm just excited to guess the end of the chapter. I'm wondering if we're going to meet Professor Hamilton here. I think maybe this is where she's hiding out. This would be a great place to hide, after all. Oh, we can turn it right or we can turn it left. And 
and I see it. That changes where this leads next, I suppose. Uh, wait, if I turned it right, it would have ended up over there. Okay. Oh, hello. Boom. Yeah, that seems to be the best way to use Awakening. Just get a stun, activate Shard with uh, the Stigmata active and just S-Craft for only 50 CP. It just nukes these, even these strong enemies. So what's going on here then? I guess this was just a treasure chest. Uh, okay, it seems like... Oh, there's, there's only one other place this... Okay, I, I thought there were three options for the... Yeah, I guess there weren't. But if I... Yeah, so I turn it left here. And then I guess this just leads nowhere. Yeah, it seems like it does. I'm just going to make sure, though. Yeah. Wait, was this... Am I dumb? Did I just... I think I might be dumb. Hold on, let me just... <laughs> oh, I always forget stuff like that. Which way I turned it. I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, because I haven't even been over here yet, so... Dude, that follow-up is so strong. Like, Kasim had it as well, and obviously it was strong because it was Kasim, but... Yeah, Kevin, like, doing it too is just, like, insane. I should try and get that on all my attackers. Like, I wish it was intentional, but it's not. It just ended up being on Kevin with uh, the shard setup that I did. But I really should be paying more attention to that. I just put as many, like, shard things with uh, high values, like, on them as, my, as I could. Same with Rufus. Except I think I ran out by the time I got to Rufus, so he doesn't have as, like, good stuff. He still should have decent stuff, though. Decent enough, at least. But the main thing was making him fast, so I got, like, uh, I prioritized, like, fast like, things on him. You know, we can just ignore this guy. I don't think the experience from just one of them is going to be much. Oh, we got a... Wait, that's not a new enemy, never mind. No, I'm just going to run through all these guys. Alright, so I can move it only left. And there's only one option. Wow, this guy is persistent. Leave me alone, skin tone chicken bone. Well, well, well. This place goes up quite high. Then, you know, I'll kill these guys since there's two strong ones. Boom. Yeah. Awakening into S-Craft is just the absolute way to go. And like, when you get so many hits on the S-Craft, you just... Well, you also heal a little bit of uh, SP from it. But I think I gave Kevin some equipment that makes him gain more CP. Actually, I think it might be his Hollow Core. Oh, I see. That's what's going on here. I was like, how am I supposed to reach that? We got flooring, guys. I guess I'll have to move this over. I wonder if this game would benefit from, like... Or I guess this series would benefit from kind of, like, a more puzzle-focused dungeon design. Like, nothing crazy, but, like... I don't know, maybe more like complex. Well, you, you'd have to make the dungeons more complex for that to work, and I don't know. Thing is, like the dungeons in Yi's are really cool. I think their layouts are like, really well designed, and there's plenty of unique kind of terrains to 
like navigate through, especially like Terminal Island from U10. Like that dungeon was sick. But I don't know, since like this game's obviously, or this series is a lot slower, maybe it would, I don't know, like, because the thing is there are kind of puzzle elements to it. It's just not like anything beyond just hit this switch and a path opens up kind of thing. But I wonder if they could do a bit more with it, I, I guess. But yeah, that's the power of it. So wait, yeah, I, I didn't even lose like any CP from that. Because by hitting all those guys at once, I just got so much back. Yeah, I can probably try and uh, edge out level 46 by the end of this. I'm not really sure how much it even helps. Like, just one level. I said this before, but it matters more that you have, like, uh, that you have, uh, like, what's it called? Like, augments and stuff. Like, that's where you get all your stats from, as well as your hollow core. Like, compared to that, levels mean nothing. Oh my god. Frick. Oh, this guy's such a dickhead. What happened to the other guy? I guess he just died off screen, whatever. Die. Couldn't kill him. If this was Kuro 1, I could use another S-Craft and just kill him like that, but... Alas, I should've used an order, what am I doing? And I just fucking... Super Mario jumps on my head and now I'm gonna have to grind up CP for two characters instead of one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the best way to avoid this attack seems to be to like... Or when it's the red one, it seems to be to like run away from him, like actually sprint. Yeah, he is dead. Uh, Rufus, my man, thank you. I think he has a lot of EP. I've mainly been using him for the heals. Uh-oh, what have we here? No, I'm just gonna do this. And before they run away, we just use a little boost down on this, and down go the pond. What the hell? This guy actually survived. This is the, the first time I've seen one of these guys survive. Holy shit, that damage. Thank you. All right, well, we got to level 46. I guess I don't really care about fighting the enemies any, anymore. I don't think I'll get any higher than that. But I would like to get my CP back. Oh, we're already there. I feel like I missed a little bit. Uh, I want to go explore a little bit more. Wait. Oh, never mind. I don't think I did miss anything. Well, whatever. I'll grind off these enemies for some CP. I'll be right back. <sighs> you know, this is fucked. I don't even know why I bothered to try and grind off these guys. I am just going to go to the fairy tale garden. For some reason, I just forgot you could do that. Or not fairy tale garden, you know what I mean. Uh, not that. Wait, what? Oh, because I cleared it right, so it's on blue. God, I did that. Bath time, baby. And you know what, I think that'll do it for this one. Probably wasn't very long since... Well, I guess we had a full dungeon, so it's probably going to be at least half an hour. What the fuck? Either way, though, I think this next one's going to be a lot longer. Since it's probably going to be the, well, the finale of Kevin's Route 1, so... I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.